sometimes. It's a movement that got going in the 1950s, influenced by the events of the 40s. Because after you've come out of a world war in which millions of people were killed, maybe light comedy doesn't really do it for you. The Theater of the Absurd wasn't one of those moments where everyone hung out in bars and had parties together. And maybe that's good, because some of those parties would have been that way. Now, it was more of a new style that a bunch of playwrights started writing in pretty much independently, and then one day, critic Martin Eslin noticed and wrote an essay about it, and bam, a movement was born, or identified. The Theater of the Absurd is another style that rejects realism. Absurdism, like Dadaism and Surrealism, is predicated on the idea that life doesn't really make sense. So, theater shouldn't make sense either. This isn't absurd like comedy in 2018, it's more of a deeply dissatisfied, questioning kind of absurd. Plots are disordered, nothing happens, or stuff does happen.